welcome all of you to our channel IAPT Dennis Hub. Today I am going to discuss about tokens. What is a token? What do you mean by tokens? Tokens are the smallest individual units of a program. It is the smallest individual unit of a program. What are the tokens we have? Keywords, identifiers, constants, variables and operators. Okay? These are the tokens supported to the C++ language or any language. Okay? The C++ program is written using these tokens, white spaces and the syntax of the language. Okay? What is a program? Program is a set of instructions written in logically. Okay? This instruction is written using these tokens, white spaces and the syntax of the language. Okay? For example, we will see one statement here int a comma b comma c this is the statement for declaring the variables okay this is the statement for declaring the variables the all to read is known as declaration statement then how to write the declaration statement what is the common rule for declaration statement that is the syntax of the language that is the syntax rule for writing the statements okay how to write the declaration statement starts with the data type okay int it is the data type it is a keyword it is a keyword then give the space, like this is the white spaces. Okay. Then give the names of the variable. A is the name of the variable, B is the name of the variable, C is the name of the variable. That is token, small, small units. Okay. This is terminated with the semicolon. That is the rule to terminate it with the semicolon. That is the syntax, common rule for writing the statement with the data type, names of the variable, and give the space between the data type and the variables, and ends with the semicolon. Okay. This is the way you can write the statements. What are now we have to include that tokens, white spaces and the syntax of the language. Okay. This is not only in C++ program. Whatever programs you are writing, whether it is C, whether it is C++ or Java, ASP, uh, PHP, whatever language is there in the program is written using this small, small units. Then all the small units are called it as a token. Those who are new in programs, they are confused with the tokens. Don't worry, I have uploaded a separate video of keywords and identifiers with a detailed explanation. What is a keyword and identifier? How to use the keyword? What are the rules to follow to write a keyword and identifier? Everything I have discussed in that video. For constants, separate video is there. What are constant? Different types of constants in example. How to declare constants. For variables also separated video I have uploaded. How to write and declare variables. What are the rules to follow to write a variables. What are the valid and invalid variables. Everything discussed in that video. Separate video for operators also uploaded. Different types of operators. Separately uploaded. I covered all the topics related operators. You can watch that videos. That is good to get deep knowledge about the token, especially those who are new in programming language. You have to watch that video. You get the deep knowledge of tokens. Without tokens, we cannot write any programming. So I will write one program here. Let us see what are the tokens we have used in this program. Without tokens, we cannot write down even a single program. Okay. If I see this program over here, every smallest individual unit. Let us say this is one unit. This is nothing but it is a tokens. We will see what are the tokens we have used in this program. Void. It is a keyword. This is keyword is also token. Then int is a data type. That is also keyword. Names of the variables A, B, C. These are tokens. And then equal sign. Plus, these are the operators, arithmetic operator, assignment operator. This is also token. Then 90 and 30, if I talk about 90 and 30, this is a constant. This is also for tokens. Then C out, this is the keyword. Okay. Then all the smallest unit, we called it as a token. Without using tokens, we cannot write the program. So, tokens is very, very important in the programming language. Hope you got the idea about the tokens.
why do we need top and C++? Next video, I will discuss about keywords and identifiers with the proper examples. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel and like and share also. Thank you for watching.